Hi, I am Vanessa Dick reporting to you from Bishop Anstey High School and Trinity College East in Trinity, where Gabriella Wyke is a student of the art program. Hello, my name is Elsa Clark. I am Gabby's sixth form art teacher and um, she is pursuing the CAPE um, Art and Design for CXE. Um, in doing the project, she has a creative project that she has to do as one of the modules. And in doing that, she decided on a very ambitious project of a mural, which talked about what she thought of her experience as a young person trying to make decisions about what she wanted to do in life. And the mural talks about her experience of art as a subject and what people think of it and the decision uh, that she made to become an artist or be to work in the arts. Um, it's a very ambitious project and she's done very well. I'm here at the Gabby Hall where Gabriella Wyke's art has been placed on display at her school at Bishop and Trinity College East. Hi Gabriella Wyke. Hello. <laughs> I have a few questions for you. Can you tell me if you were to title your piece, what would it be? Um, I think I would probably go with timeline because it shows the stages of a person's life or people's life in general. So I think timeline would be a fitting title to put it under. But to be honest, I really didn't think that I needed to title the piece because I think that people need to think more for themselves. I think if I put a title, it would kind of limit the ideas or the questions that they may have. So I prefer to leave it untitled. What is the origin of your concept for your artwork? Okay, so basically what I wanted to show was the life of an artist. So I started from the innocent stage, which was very young. And as we go along, you see the different influences and things that they are affected by during their stage of maturity. That artist is you, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> How long did it take for you to do this piece? Well, the concept planning stage started around September and I actually started building around late December and I only finished early this month in April.
I chose to start this piece with a lot of children. As you all know, well, some of you all know, I'm also a photographer. So, yeah, well. <laughs> so the beginning basically is just supposed to represent the innocent stage of the child. Um, the color, black and white, because at this stage, you're only accustomed to what your parents expose you to, which is limited. You're still very, you know, sheltered, not exposed too much to the world. Mm -hmm. So, black and white has a sort of simplicity about it that it's either black or it's white. You're not really exposed to everybody else yet. But as you go along, you see that it transitions into colors, a lot of different tints and shades of colors on either side. This would represent the different <laughs> opinions and different um, exposures, different people that you know you get exposed to along the way. So coming from uh, a tender age, you know you only have what your parents tell you, and then all of a sudden, well not all of a sudden, gradually as you grow, you start getting exposed and and so on. And some people may try to kind of. Um, tell you that, you know, um, well, if you want to be an artist, you know, well, um, you know, they don't make no money. You know, I really think you should get a real job. Mm -hmm. I think you should put on a, a suit and, you mm -hmm. know, I think you should go to our office and get, you know, real money. So, this is something what would happen to some person who their parents probably not as supportive as mine, you know. They would, they, their child would probably tell them, well, you know, mommy, I want to be an artist, so I want to be a dancer. I want to sing. And the parents will be like, no, I don't think you should do that because you're not bringing any money to the school. You need to get a real job. Mm -hmm. This is the corporate world that some people try to force upon people like me. So if you look here, this is basically supposed to represent how oh, this was not a box, his life basically. Mm -hmm. And like kind of just put away his personality mm -hmm. because of people like his parents, um, people who he may look up to in his life that may have said certain things and well, obviously it had an effect. Mm -hmm. So this is what could happen to somebody. If you look here, the cubicle that he is in is too small for him. The chair kind of hold his weight. He is, he is stifling. His head is stuck between the two and mm -hmm. But he's still trying to get some artistic thing exactly. in the socks. What I try to say here is that even though people may try to force you into something, you, your personality will never. Mm -hmm. There will always be that little piece of you still, you know, inside of you. So this is just supposed to represent the person into the person. Okay. If you look over here, you see two apples. This apple is different from this apple. Mm -hmm. This apple is rotten and this apple is like sort of fresh and vibrant and so on. Um, this, this apple is supposed to represent the, the young brain, you know, still maturing, still unaffected, mm -hmm. as some may say. Um, and this, this apple kind of look, you know, old and rotten and battered and like, like it went through some, some things. This is something what somebody's brain could look like figuratively, figuratively or literally if they are affected by people's opinions. People walk all over you with their opinions and their words and that causes cracks and causes negativity to be rooted inside of you. This is what it could cause. Depression, in some cases. Because this person is so accustomed to people rejecting her ideas, you know, since this is like four little pieces of people. She's so accustomed to people rejecting her ideas that she too also begins to reject herself. Because if somebody's constantly speaking negativity or something different into your life, eventually it will take pattern. And well, she starts to lose color. You can see she starts to disappear as well. You know? So, this is just something that can happen to a person that 
is deeply, deeply affected by words and opinions by people. This crack also represents the fragility of the brain. People don't realize how effective they could be when they speak to you in a certain way or tell you something. And they don't know that it could sometimes leave a permanent damage on your mind and your own mindset and everything. Sometimes those cracks don't, you can't even stick it back. They just, you know, they shatter it. When a grass break, you're gonna stick it back. You know, you're gonna branch it away. So, this is just supposed to represent the creativity, the color, everything just being lost. As you look, you know, you know, there's two clocks on either side. This is supposed to represent growth and time passing. You know, you're getting older, things happening, you're getting affected by, or not affected, but exposed to things like religion and spirituality and stuff. And you know, those things have a very great impact on your life. The government, what is going on in Trinidad today? today? A lot of people are getting affected by it, whether they notice it or not. And that has an effect on your mindset. So, as we move on further, you will notice that this tree is a cross between, well, a tree and a cross. Mm -hmm. I would say this is more, this more represents what my life is like right now. I am still rooted by church, my parents, spiritual side, everything. But at the same time, I'm getting older, and very soon, I'll be leaving my parents in the nest, as they say. You know, going on to further things in life. If you look over here, it's a similar scenario. This bird is just waiting to take off. If you follow the path of the birds, they go straight into the atrium, mm -hmm. which symbolizes the decision that I made. I made a decision to follow my dreams. This is a school project, right? As, when yes. I say that, a school it's assignment. It's an assessment. What about the assessment generated this sort of thought, thinking? Because since I was in Form 5, um, I heard about this creative project. I was always in the art room and always asking questions. What you all doing? And all that. And they'd be like, you know, we're working on our creative project. And I was like, what is your creative project? Say, so, you know, it's just a project that, you know, you make up on your own, the teachers just guide you basically, but it's your baby. So I always had a, a longing for working on a big space. So I know I wanted to do, do a mural. The idea, however, had a change along the way because, well, obviously we were working at a time. And the idea that I had before would not have fit into the time that I had. But so with the guidance of my teacher, she told me that I should take it from a more personal perspective. I wanted to do it on a more um, national level, meaning I wanted to show how tr the state of Trinidad and Tobago now versus how we want to see it. Okay. So that is why the I needed the two sides. I wanted the people to feel the transition. Right. So it's not only really just looking at something, you're walking through and you're experiencing Hi, my name is Leona Fabian. I taught Gabi Arts from Form 1 to Form 5 at Bishop Anstey High School. On meeting Gabi in Form 1, I realized that she was one of the most talented girls in the class. What sh struck me about Gabi was her passion for the subject, her skill, her concepts were always intricate, her level of detail and a meticulous approach to her studies where art was concerned. The artist fully captured what society is like right now. People living their lives day in, day out, without fulfilling their full potential. Um, I think that Gabi is an amazing artist, and I think that what she did there, she captured everything that she wanted to, and her work is amazing. I see how hard Gabby work, so I know that what she did is exactly what she wanted to do, so I applaud her for that.
about Gabby's piece this afternoon. I think it is very inspiring. And seeing what she has done, I think that most parents should just encourage their children to do what they want to do, what they see they're progressing in, instead of trying to make them become somebody who they are not. What I think about this piece that Gabby did, it was really a, a, an excellent piece for somebody her age. And I think that she has a long way to go. And I really wish her all the best. And I must say I have to congratulate Gabriella. She is able to portray all of her thoughts and bring it into a picture, into a world that you know we could understand and giving us all a sense of whom we should be or whom we should become. Even at my age, I'm thinking, okay, I need to be like her. I think Gabby has a creative mind and we could see that through this piece on today and uh, I like the way that she portrayed how society boxes us up and hinders our creativity and I want to say I want to compliment her on you know showcasing that for all of us to see. Hi good day. and I would just like to commend Gabby on her excellent work that she has done in this painting in the mural today. Wonderful work. Basically, I think the art really impacted me, you know, teaching me about, you know, the, the value of time and influences. I think it really hit the nail on the head where, you know, you start as a, as a child, as an innocent stage, and, you know, different experiences and other people's opinions, ideas throughout life could affect who you become. The artwork was very eye-opening to me and I liked it very much. Gabby's piece was just truly magnificent and really inspirational and it just really showed me that if you have a passion to really follow through with it and don't let negativity keep you back. Gabby's artwork was good and fantastic. That was Gabriella Weig at Bishop and Trinity College East in Trin City. This is Vanessa Dick signing out.